What's up YouTube? Today for you guys I'm bringing you, it's technically a theme because it's activated by Winterboard, Insidia, and basically what this does it customizes your settings to actually give you some additional features. It's called Supreme Preferences 3. It's made by ModMyEye so you don't have to add any sources. So you could find it in changes or you could type it in S-U-P-R-E-M-E P-R-E-F E R E N C E S S and with three that spelled out T H R E. You probably would find it before that though. From my my eye once again. Go ahead and let's click on it. Install and confirm. I already have it installed by XLS. I like theirs better because they jailbreak everything before it comes out. You don't have to pay for this, so you might as well just get it from the actual my my eye but mine is the same thing exactly and to activate it after you're done downloading it you're gonna open up winterboard and see I have it right there selected supreme preferences 3.0 click that make sure it's ticked exit out it's gonna let it do, let it do its load and see how I have all my icons in the bubble form this one is not yet made like that because it does change your settings picture to this alright but let's hop into it. Let's find out some cool things that we could do about it. Um, as you can see right there, I changed my carrier name to Big Boy. Big Boy Bob 111 wouldn't fit. So I just put Big Boy. You see over here. They do have Insidious something else to get the percentage, but you could also do it this way. Let's just hop into it. I'll show you what I mean. Hop right into settings. All your other stuff. Except, you saw it right there. System Supreme Preferences 3.0. Hop right into it. You could change stuff about your applications, your home, your iPod, mobile substrate, status bar about and the system, and then it gives you a little information about it. Let's just hop into an application. Application the general. It just gives you some additional stuff to, sh to mess with your maps, the traffic, start end. It shows you the percentages of stocks. And I don't want that on. I can only use stocks. Uh, it gives you your temperature in Fahrenheit. Well, mine isn't Fahrenheit because I'm American. Get out of that. Let's just go. Let's go through them. We got the mailing contacts. You could customize it now. So instead of waiting the 15 minutes to fetch data, I, ha I have it for 10 minutes because I don't want to kill the battery life. But you could get it all the way up to every minute, which is pretty cool. If you're YouTube, if you're constantly checking your Facebook and all that other good stuff, very nice. All right, signature. You could customize it to how you want it you can fetch it I haven't I don't know what this is exactly yet I don't know how it works I have it set for 600 I don't know what that means but I don't know what, I don't know how it works let's just get out of that I remember I'm, I'm, I downloaded this a few minutes ago um, phone sell your data network editing as international assist I don't mess with that just because I don't want my phone to get messed up I'm not saying that it will but just in case it does this is pretty cool if you guys have T-Mobile like I like I do you pop this off or you don't even need T-Mobile when you're when you're using when your 3G is off and you're using Edge from AT&T, you have this off and it you load websites way faster because this does not load the picture. This is a good plus. I really do like this. I have it selected off so it doesn't show pictures and when I do need the pictures, just hop right into settings, tick it on and you're good to go. But that's very good. It saves me a lot of time because I do use Edge, which sucks. But got to got to do what I got to do. Don't want to pay that AT&T bill so. I work with something much less. You can a you can enable your MMS. Remember, this is only for T-Mobile. You'll probably see this. I haven't seen AT&T's this yet, but I'm not sure. You might be able to see that there. Um, check me out. Let leave me a comment down there. Let me know if it is happening on there. Let's see what else we got? Photos. Not too much in photos. You could delay the slide the slideshow time basically. You could change it how how you want it to dissolve and stuff. The store basically the same thing. You can save your iTunes password so you don't ever have to enter it every time you download the free ones. I have it saved. Which it's good, but not if somebody finds your phone, so it's up to you guys. Now it's in the application. Let's go to the home. Edit to home. Hide battery elements. This basically means when you plug in your phone, it's going to show you that it's charging. You could hide that, have it ticked off, and it doesn't show you that you're charging your phone. It's just You could roam free. You could re enable this and you have reflective docks. Website launcher, not really sure what that is. Let me know if you guys know. Edit home screen, haven't messed with that yet. Badges, I'm assuming 
is the MySpace and the, the Mail and have a hell of all that good stuff in the location. I have that on. Um, you could change your double click to whatever you guys want. I have it all set for home. When you're in, I guess, the App Store and you double click, it'll take you to a different place if you wanted to. Give you a little description down there. Let's hop right out of that. Hop into the iPod. You get your playlists, you get your lyrics. Kind of the same stuff. You have Shake to Shuffle on here. iPod Hi Fi. I do not know what that is. Please, somebody tell me because I'm wondering. I really am wondering. It says it requires connection with Hi Fi accessories. I really don't know what it is. Please, somebody leave me a comment down there. I really want to know what that is. Please help me out. I know I'm getting carried away with this, but this is a big application. All right, we got the videos. All right, and you can change your custom. Your, I have bass booster because I like my heavy, heavy rap music. Mobile substrate. Um, the respring. I have the the lock timer. Just a whole bunch of stuff. You guys go through this. I don't really know what's too much in there. I really want to get the status bar. Status bar. I changed my carrier name to Big Boy. White loader wheel. Don't know what that is. If you guys know, let me know. Um, down here, you could change your Wi-Fi bar, your signal bar, and your battery. All in numeric. I only have my battery just because I think that that's the only one useful. But it'll tell you exactly how much percent you have on your Wi-Fi, what your speed is, and your signal. Which I think is pretty cool. But it reads it negative. I don't know. I'm not really sure how it reads it. But I, as again, I, as I told you, I didn't get a chance to really look at it. And in system, we got the brightness. You can go all the way up to negative 1%. Let's see how dark it is. Whoa, that's dark, guys. And then it's just 40. Ooh, pretty bright. Let's try 100. Um, actually, it looked a little bit less <laughs> darker than 40. Let's see. Oh, no. I lied. <laughs> I like it on 10%. No, I think I had it on 30. I will just leave it on 25. Um you can I'm I don't want to touch this because I did touch it and it said like right here I clicked to touch me first I'll say I even show you touch me first and it says okay make sure you are you know perfectly what you're doing or you might have to be restoring so then I put <laughs> I made sure no what wait I don't want to do that I don't I don't know how that works if somebody knows please again down there in the description tell me exactly what that is you got your e 24 hours, time zone, Apple logo, race spring lock, powering to block the devices from block blocking phone calls, I guess. All right, and that's basically it, guys. It's an addition to your settings. You still have all your other good settings. It's just a little bit extra, so you get to play around with basically your status bar. That's the one thing that I'm using it for. <laughs> change, my, change my carrier. I had it saying Metro for all the people who know what Metro is in Florida. Everybody's like, oh, I want an iPhone for Metro. But you can't get it. I'm just messing with them. But check this, guys. Supreme Preferences 3.0 Insidia. Then activate it by Winterboard. Please rate, comment, subscribe. I know this video took a while, but I wanted to make sure I covered it all for you guys. It's your boy, Big Boy Bob 111. Signing out. Please, again, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace, YouTube.